Welcome to Smart Luxury. Used to defeat and disable an opposing force, such as weapons are used in times of war, but they are also employed by law enforcement and military forces as repressive and preventative measures. They can also be used for hunting, target practice, and self-defense. But I'll tell you right now that these are not the kinds of weapons we'll be talking about in today's video. We are discussing military-grade super weapons fit for a world war. The atomic bomb is frequently considered to be the deadliest weapon, but what are the world's most expensive weapons? Stay tuned to find out. Before we begin, please like and share this video, as well as subscribe to the channel for more fantastic videos like this one. Thank you. Number 5. Virginia Class Submarine – $2.8 Billion The Virginia Class, often referred to as the SSN-774 class, is a subclass of nuclear-powered fast-attack cruise missile submarines used by the U.S. Navy. The Virginia Class, the newest submarine type for the U.S. Navy, was created by General Dynamics Electric Boat and Huntington Ingalls Industries and features the most recent in stealth, intelligence gathering, and weapon system technology. The Virginia Class has a number of advances that dramatically improve its ability to wage war, with a focus on maritime operations. The fly-by-wire ship control technology aboard Virginia Class SSNs improves ship handling in shallow waters. For extended deployments and potential offboard missions, the torpedo room can be converted to accommodate numerous special operations forces and all of their equipment. A sizable lock-in, lock-out chamber for divers is also available in the class. Traditional periscopes have been replaced in Virginia class SSNs with two photonic masts that are equipped with telescopic arms that hold color, high resolution, black and white, and infrared digital cameras. The barrel periscopes have been removed, and the control room of the ship has been lowered down one deck and away from the hull's curvature, giving it greater space and a better arrangement that gives the commanding officer more situational awareness. The Virginia class is also intended to be quickly updated with new technologies and payloads during its operational life, thanks to the heavy use of modular construction, open architecture, and commercially available components. Submarines of the Virginia class will be purchased up until 2043, and it is anticipated that they will remain in service until at least 2060, with later submarines perhaps serving into the 2070s. Number 4. Zumwalt Class Destroyer – $4.4 billion The USS Zumwalt was named after Admiral Elmo Zumwalt, the US's youngest ever Chief of Naval Operations. It was built at Bath Ironworks, which is owned by General Dynamics. The facility, costing $40 million, was built specially to house the construction of the enormous ship. As a guided missile destroyer, the ship's primary function is to assist the fleet of the U.S. Navy's anti-aircraft weapons. The ship's construction started in October 2008. It was launched in October 2013, and in October 2016, the U.S. Navy officially put it into service. The destroyer is among the most iconic and impressive warships in existence. By destroyer standards, the Zumwalt class is big. According to naval technology, the 600-foot ship has room for 158 crew members, can travel at a sustained speed of 30 knots, and can carry around 16,000 tons. The distinction between a destroyer and a cruiser has a lot of space for interpretation, but the new weaponry takes the ships even further from what is now considered to be a destroyer. The USS Michael Mansour and the USS Lyndon B. Johnson are the other two destroyers in the U.S. Navy's Zumwalt class. The Navy originally intended to operate 32 Zumwalt class destroyers, but due to cost overruns, the number was finally reduced to three. The USS Zumwalt, the first of the three Zumwalt destroyers built, was the Navy's most expensive ship at the time and cost $4.4 billion. Number 3. Seawolf class submarine $5 billion. The Seawolf class is a type of nuclear-powered, fast-attack submarine used by the U.S. Navy. It was built to be the ideal submarine hunter, faster and more agile than its rivals, while also being more stealthy and highly armed. In reality, very few press releases, images, or articles have been made regarding any of the submarines in the Seawolf class. According to the reports that are accessible, the subs often travel beneath the Arctic Ocean's polar ice occasionally testing advanced sonar and communication systems. The Seawolf class designs extraordinary quietness, even at high tactical speeds, is its most significant benefit. 
The Seawolf class is credited as being able to cruise at 20 knots and yet be impossible to spot, in contrast to most submarines that must restrict their speeds down to as little as 5 knots to prevent detection by passive sonar arrays. A Seawolf traveling at 25 knots produces less noise than a Los Angeles dock next to the pier, according to the US Navy, which also claims that the Seawolf is 10 times quieter than an upgraded Los Angeles and 70 times quieter than the original Los Angeles boat. The USS Seawolf was set down in 1989 as the lead boat of a class of 12 boats, making the first entirely new American submarine design in about 30 years. The US Navy had 17 more warships in its initial plans, but the US policymakers began to doubt the necessity for more ultra-quiet boats as a result of the peace dividend brought about by the fall of the USSR and the end of the Cold War. These exceptional weapons came at a high cost in 1991, $33 billion for only 12 Seawolves. That amounts to roughly $5 billion per sub now when adjusted for inflation. Number 2. Nimitz Class Carriers 11.2 billion dollars. The 10 nuclear-powered Nimitz-class carriers are the second largest aircraft carrier in the world, owned by the US Navy. The class was named after Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, commander of the US Pacific Fleet during World War II. They are unquestionably among the greatest breeds and have all the characteristics needed for such battleships. These 332.8 meter long aircraft carriers have a 4.5 acre flight deck that can accommodate more than 60 aircraft with a full load displacement of 97,000 tons. These ships, which have a capacity for 3,000 to 3,200 crew members, 1,500 air wings, and are propelled by two nuclear reactors and have a top speed of more than 30 knots. The ships also include short range missile defense and anti-aircraft weapons in addition to their aircraft. The carrier's propulsion consists of two A4W pressurized water reactors, which drive four propeller shafts and have a maximum speed of over 30 knots and a maximum power of about 260,000 shaft horsepower. Nuclear reactors are used in place of the gas turbines or diesel electric systems found on many modern warships. Because nuclear power is used, the ship may operate for more than 20 years without refueling and are expected to have a service life of more than 50 years. The Virginia-based Newport News Shipbuilding Company built each of the 10 carriers. The lead ship of the class, USS Nimitz, was commissioned on May 3, 1975, and the 10th and last ship, USS George H.W. Bush, was commissioned on January 10, 2009. Nimitz-class aircraft carriers have taken part in numerous wars and operations since the 1970s, such as Operation Eagle Claw in Iran, the Gulf War, and even in Iraq and Afghanistan. In 2012 dollars, the unit cost was around 8.5 billion, which would be equivalent to about 11.2 billion in 2022. Number 1. Gerard R. Ford Class Carriers – $13 billion The Gerard R. Ford Class is a class of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers currently being built for the United States Navy. The aircraft carrier's initial deployment date was set for 2017, which is eight years after the start of construction in 2009, and longer than the typical aircraft carrier construction time of five years. However, the challenges in the development process and a string of delays brought on by reliability issues with numerous new technologies resulted in an additional five years of construction time. The USS Ford will transport more than 70 aircraft, including 40 to 50 FA 16EF Super Hornets, 5 EA 18G Growler Electronic Attack Aircraft, 19 MH60 Seahawk Helicopters, 4 E2D Hawkeye Airborne Early Warning Aircraft, and 2 MV 22B Osprey Cargo Transports, according to the Congressional Research Service. The new ships have a hull that is comparable to the Nimitz class, but add technologies like the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and other design characteristics meant to increase efficiency and save operational costs, such as sailing with less crew. The class's first ship, CVN-78, was ordered in 2008 and put into service on July 22, 2017. John F. Kennedy, CVN-79, the second ship in the class, is scheduled to enter service in 2024. The US Navy approved the purchase of the aircraft carrier in late 2021 for a total cost of $13.3 billion. However, the total cost could go way higher than that, as the ship protection and logistical expenses for the aircraft carrier are not included in the budget. We have come to the end of this list. 
If you found this video interesting, please make sure to hit the like button, the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel to get access to more interesting videos from us. Thank you for watching.